For joining us here tonight at 10 o'clock, along with Jolene Cheney, I'm Kevin Ogle. And we start tonight with a Metro couple facing five dozen charges related to cockfighting. The investigation into this all started with a traffic stop. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale explains. Well, Kevin and Jolene, last month, police pulled over Ellie Greeno for allegedly driving drunk. And after items in his car set off alarm bells, they went to check out his house, where later nearly 100 birds were found. It was just crazy. And to wall the couple in a battle with the law. So we take it very, very seriously. After allegedly taking part in cockfighting. Cockfighting is barbaric. It's tied in with other criminal behavior. From the investigation started with a traffic stop last month. Reports show when McLeod police arrested Ellie Greeno for a DUI, they noticed fighting spurs and wooden transport boxes for roosters in his car. Greeno admitted he had roosters used for fighting. <laughs> Police went to his and Janie Yee's home where they found roosters tied to stakes and alerted animal welfare. We were able to obtain a warrant for the property in question. There was, in fact, evidence of cockfighting. John Gary, animal welfare superintendent, says a total of 93 birds were found at the home. Investigators also discovered other items typically used in cockfighting. Things like knives and gaffs, the evidence on the birds themselves, they were trimmed similar to how birds that are used for cockfighting are trimmed. We were all shocked. The couple was arrested. Documents filed just this week show they're facing nearly 60 charges, including possession of birds with the intent to engage in a cockfight and cruelty to animals. This action from law enforcement was so important. Wayne Paselli, the president of Animal Wellness Action, says he hopes to see more of these arrests happen throughout the state. But these cockfighting yards with cockfighting birds are all over Oklahoma. We need more of this enforcement. And the only way this stops is if people get punished for exhibiting cruelty to animals. Well, Gary says all 93 birds are in good hands at animal welfare, and they'll likely eventually go to a sanctuary. All right. We know you'll follow the legal charges on this. Thank you.